Hey there folks, this is GrinnyXI, welcome you right back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts 2, this is episode 33. In the last episode, we made it through all of the battleship Mikasa. Um, I think it's just like plot and bat and maybe a boss left to go, but before we do anything else, I know it's on Solomon Key, we've got enough crests to fill in the Forsaken Hill, which will hopefully help us out with maybe some more healing moves, you never know. So I'm going to do this first, and then we'll, we'll carry on with the main game. Okay, so, Agress. Appears as an old wise man with withered legs, lives by the sea, and rides crocodiles when travelling. Master of Morphin. Rides crocodiles, live by the sea. I'm assuming this would be a relatively obvious one. Are they crocodiles? <laughs> Something on a mountain? I can't actually see any water. What old wise man? Is that more of a hint? Not really. We'll come back to that one. It might be obvious to you. Like, I can't see it. <laughs> Cameo. Appears as a small jet black bird. Lives beside the forest of passion. Hating gloomy things, he stays away from the boneyard. Forest of passion. Beside the forest of passion. Small jet black bird. Any birds around first off? There's a bird on top of the tree but there, isn't there? So I think it's going to be that one. Yeah, we'll go for that. We can always change it, it's not like permanent. Fireman. Appears as a majestic king with vassals. Vassals? Vassals? Can grant humans knowledge. Travels by camel and lives in the desert. I, I can't see anything that that would refer to either. Who is a desert to? Come back to that one. Phoenix. Appears as a phoenix. <laughs> he prefers dry places because of the flames that surround him. Lives near his friend Cameo, also a bird. Right, where's Cameo? Ah, so it lives beside him is only one place it could be. Yeah. Well, there's a fly flying people as well, so yeah, that makes sense. Let's go back up. Uh, must have morphin, so I don't know yet. Um, I'll try this one. A wolf with, a wolf with eagle wings and serpent tail, warlike and dumb, lives near friend Paimon. We haven't put that down. Near the boneyard to avoid the heat. Where's the boneyard though? I can't. I can't see something that could be referred to as a boneyard. And I don't know if, I, if I'm being stupid. There's loads of skull, skulls and stuff in other places, other parts of the. Of this, but no. Okay, Rome. A giant crow with talons dripping blood. The heat, the beat of the wings causes earthquakes. He likes the forest demons and lives nearby. A lot of these just seem really vague to me. Beat of his wings causes earthquakes. So he's got wings. So it's probably that one. What I'm gonna do is see now that I put that down. If there's any help at all, Paimon. I grant him as not travels by camel and lives in the desert. There's a tree by there with like apples on it. You'd think that'd be obvious. Night um, leading in the famous Lives with the soldiers in the solid tower by the woods. That's that's an obvious one. I can't go anywhere else, I don't think. Stays away from the boneyard. Okay. Wait, stays away from the boneyard. Hmm. Master of morphins. So it's got to be some sort of animal somewhere around here, right? The, the background ain't helping me. <laughs> Withered legs. Well, he's being carried, like, but no, we got one there already. Right, for now, I'm going to chuck one in everything. If it's wrong, then it's wrong. But. Swap them around and try that. I don't know. I'm a bit stumped for this one. A lot of the clues don't seem to make sense to me. Lives beside the forest of passion. Stays away from the boneyard. But if we put cameo 
over here. It's sort of a boneyard. There's a dead body there. Forest, forest of passion, though. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna look this up, and I'll, ex I'll try and explain to you how it seems to be the case. Okay, I was right with Cameo being there, and um, Phoenix has to be next to him, because that's what it says in the description. Um, have a look at Realm. Realm shouldn't be up there. It should be down. He likes the forest dims and lives nearby, so... The massive tree is the forest. I thought like it was the little trees around the place, but it's not. Um, Barbados is in the right place. Agares. It's in the right place. Um, person? In the wrong place. That should be... Uh, he and his neighbour Phoenix visit each other. So, yeah, right by Phoenix. That makes sense now. Uh, Paimon needs to go up here. Lives in the desert. I don't see a that uh, desert in any any way. <laughs> and this one lives near friend Pyram, but near the boneyard to avoid the heat. Boneyard is referring to other parts of the Solomon map, isn't it? I thought it was all restricted to like each one, and that's why I was getting confused. We've done it now. Uh, dark resist and evil summoning has been added to the Pyram crest, so resist dark damage. That would be nice. I'm assuming. Drift uses a spell. I don't know. Probably. Uh, Gale's been added. I don't care about that. Shield's been added. No, that. Holy Edge or that. Dark Edge. Evil Bone, okay. Earth Edge. Rock Storm, okay. Nothing that good for me. I found out Enchanting Sea. Over here. We are missing... We're missing one. I think we should have it by now, though. Let's have a look. What are we missing? V Power Crockel for Folklore. Phonius, we're missing Phonius, which is found. Hold on, hold on. Wales by Roger's house. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I have to try and remember that. Okay, anyway, this was a bit of a detour from the main game, but it's done now. So, let's actually head on in and see what the battleship has in store for us. Well, well, the old man's pet dog has come back to get the girl. I might have known you were behind this. Hand her over. I'm afraid not. It's time I introduced you to my iron soldiers. There's just some of those guys. But it looks like there's a boss, so it must be the main guy as well. It's funny, because we only just got introduced to this guy. But he's got some good backstory for someone who, you know, hasn't got much to do with the main story really. I'm assuming not anyway. Damn it, didn't kill him. I was hoping it would kill him. Uh go for B. Oh shit. I still haven't got used to it being five oh we still did it. But five um five hits. Right, so what can we do next? Anything circular? You have got sixty four MP but it got upgraded didn't it? Right, that's going to hit the boss and kill off him. I think... That's the best we should do. I think we should do some good damage to the main boss as well. Hey! Good damage. Oh, he's just defended. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up. Red Cradle? Oh, mm hmm I'm not going to be able to hit two people, so that seems a bit pointless. That one we can, though. It'd be nice if we killed them both. That would be amazing, actually. It did. Oh, magic's getting so good again. I think I just... Oop. <laughs> just hugging the wall. <laughs> I got used to just using physical attacks all the time. But when there's multiple enemies, that's... Pointless in boss situations. Go on, Yuri. You can do it. Yeah. Oh, and physical attack decreased. Amazing. I didn't expect that. Yeah. Uh, bit of magic. I know he's defending, but 
And it might be a waste of MP because of that, but we'll give it a go. You know, once we have the option to fly between Japan and Europe, I'm going to be doing a ton of side quests. Probably as many as you can actually do, because that's not too far from the end of the game. He's got a lot of health, I'll, I'll give him that. So we're doing tons of damage, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, just use physical attacks, I'll, I'll get you everywhere, so. Anyway, let's get Cobos on the go now, shall we? Give it a go. Uh, combo, Joe with Jim. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna remember his name all the way through, am I? <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Okay, we're already right by him. Where's Karen to? What's going on with her? Damn, I was hoping he'd go for Karen. Damn it. Okay. Combo on over two. Oh, this is different now. We're going to have to do it again. I just wasted a whole, like, a full on proper turn. Oh, not it. Yuri. This should do it. Should be enough. Right, let's get going. Hey. Just gonna attack down again. That's that's happening quite a lot now. Oh, I didn't mean to use. Yeah, Karen, I want to use, but uh, yeah, I want to use. Go Spenced. Get the combo up a huge amount. It's like you've got a bit of time with that combo thing. Otherwise, I'd never get it done. So it takes me a sec to get my reflexes going. Joe Jim, you're next. You're going to be using 15 hits. There's a lot of MP, but if it means getting the boss done quicker, I'm more than happy to do it. <laughs> fly, sir, fly. Wow. 595, and we're not done yet. Combo magic. Let's go for the bottom one. Oh, are they all circular like? Oh, no, no, no. Just a single enemy would be fine. But none of them are, so. Oh, nearly had the red. We found the fire one. 323 on top. Bloody hell. Nearly did a thousand damage in one turn. That's incredible. That is genuinely incredible. How much health has he got left? Do you know what? No. No, never mind. I was going to say, we'll do another combo, but... We're not, not all four of us would have been able to do it. To have our turns in one go. Oh, shit, that was a lot of damage that time. But not that bad, because Geppetto's max HP ain't too bad by this point. You'd think it would be worse. No, I would anyway. He's the he's the obvious mage. And combo on over to yeah, whoever. Right, you ready? You ready? We're going again. It'd be good to have her upgrade for Goish Benst. So that's the one I seem to be using the most. Joe Jim. So you can get a ton of attacks in as well. Got it. It's risky as hell during combos to be using. To be going for the red. You could screw everything up if you miss it. Okay, just an attack this time. Hey, and finally a bit of combo magic. This time we'll go for this one. Ooh, wind. 
So I'm assuming the last one's water, but we're dark and light then, unless they end combo attacks. <laughs> um, we'll we'll finish the fight off with just physical attacks, I think. Should be enough, I'd imagine. Are we done? Are we done? No. But nearly. There we go. That was easy. And the combos are really good. I, it's only by this point I'm really seeing the huge amount of use for them. Whoop, loads of levels up. Are you okay, Princess? I'm okay. You're a lucky little girl. Who are you? Call me Yuri. And this guy's name isn't Snowball. It's Blanca. Blanca? Yeah. So, it's Blanca, is it? Thanks, Blanca. I'm Yoshiko. Yoshiko Kawashima. Yoshiko... Kawashima? Yes? This is Yoshiko. She is the daughter of my master, Naniwa Kawashima. So, you mean the old man is... Yes. Hmm. Is that right? Yuri! Huh? I am Kaneda, captain of the Mikasa. Don't make any sudden moves. No one needs to get hurt. You called me, Minister. Terada has failed. Yes? Kawashima's murder, the kidnapping, all have failed. It's all because of that young bodyguard of his. I've heard the rumors, but I never imagined it was so bad. It's time to go to Plan B. Special Agent Kato, are your apes ready? The final one, Oka, is nearly completed. The third one required quite a bit of time and money, did it not? I'm sorry, Minister. Very well. I must speak with Garan now. You may leave. Special Agent Kato. Yes, sir. Don't get too involved in your work. They may appear human, but in the end, an ape is just an ape. Yes, sir. I understand very well. Minister! You must be careful with him now. Since his return from Russia, he's been shut up in the laboratory, practicing suspicious magic. He came back from Europe with a great present for me. Let him play with his little toys. Minister, you are far too easy on him. He was nearly court-martialed after coming back from Europe. You shouldn't give him such an important position. Special Agent Kato has traveled in Asia and Europe and seen much of the world. 
On the other hand, you have never left Japan, and I'm not surprised you see things differently. It's really quite interesting. I cannot understand you. <laughs> Prepare for our attack on Kawashima. He has adopted a daughter of the Qing Dynasty in order to gain a foothold in Asia. He plans to resist Yuan Shigai and even support the Guerrilla War. I'm afraid if those events should occur, we'll lose our advantage. Ah, uh, yes. We cannot ever permit that. We cannot allow Kawashima the power to create a country in Asia. We must eliminate him while he's still in Yokohama. I understand you. With my magic, I will send his soul spiraling into hell. <laughs> I'm counting on it. Yes, Master. I'm so many new characters thrown at us at once. And now look where we are. <laughs> Let's have a little look. So, equipment wise, what she go? Level 50. <laughs> you know, it's a special type of character in an RPG when they're way over leveled on him. Um. Ring custom. Let's have a little look before we get into a fight. That's, that's fine by me. Um. Personal? Support fire. No class special damage. Circular medium one hit. Okay. So yeah. Uh, light again. Ooh, what's down here? No, can't do anything. I thought it would said something because even on the minimap it had a red blob on it. So, yeah, save. It's interesting to be having a character like this. I like how they've done it. Hello. Who are you? Okay, that's Hien. He's one of the mutant apes, just like you. Excuse me, but if we're gonna fight alongside each other, I want to test his skills first. Oh, okay. We saw him in a cutscene, didn't we? And one other bloke, actually. Decent. For level 50, not that good. <laughs> I hope, like, Yuri would. Well, Yuri's doing more damage than I know, so. Wow. That was a lot better than I was. <sighs> Bloody missed. I seem to be missing a fair bit more lately. With any character, even new ones. <laughs> Yeah. 
anti-armor bomb. You know what, we'll try yours next. I want to see how good it is. Yeah. Hundred forty one. Hundred fifty one total. Are we supposed to win? Um much else. He's on red as well, so what I'm gonna do use a thiever root. That should be enough, I think, to finish off the fight. Ha Oh no. Okay, I'd say one more. One more attack, so I'm don't miss again. Yeah, that should do it. There we go. The targets have been no EXP or anything. Special defense down four. That's pretty good. Very good. I know I can trust you to have my back. Okay, we'll test your shooting ability next. Okay. Shouldn't practice instructions. Targets will spring out as you travel down the passage. Excuse me. These targets will be marked with one of the four, uh, one of four buttons. Shoot the target using the button of the same mark. If you press the wrong button, you won't be able to move for a set period of time. At times, a special agent Kato target will appear. You must not shoot this target. If you accidentally destroy this target again, you won't be able to move for a set period of time. That's the end of the instructions. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. That was easy. I wonder if we get different rewards based on how you do. But then, rewards with this character would it really matter. It's not like we're in the main party right now. Here's your orders. You must destroy 30 targets before you can proceed to the next passage. Okay. Ah. Depending on the direction is what button you have to press anyway, so it's easy. Oh, it's not. Okay. Did stop us for a bit, though. Oh, shit. Sort of started messing up. I feel like I'm pretty good at this sort of thing as well. Normally. Right, that's the last one. I thought that was quick then, for it to be vanishing again. Okay. Ah, oh, it's just back to, yeah. <laughs> Got a bit confused then. I was expecting Lord's more to come. Why'd you get the ability to go down you? Nothing down there. By you? There's a door. I guess the way we're meant to go, is it? Ooh, treasure chest. I didn't realise there were treasure chests for her. Mana root. Not going to be that useful, I don't think. Oop. Nearly pressed it. <laughs> It'll waste quite a bit of your time anyway, even if you don't shoot them. There you are. Very Metal Gear, right? Metal Gear Solid. Oh. 
das denn? Hmm. It's not exciting part. <laughs> I like this sort of thing, but one is a lot more fast fast paced. Use your orders, destroy thirty targets. Okay. Target reaches the front, you'll you won't be able to move for a separate order. Ah, okay. I think I should be alright at this. I nearly pressed X. <laughs> it's really tense. Where do we go now? This way? That's where we came from. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Master. No, more corridors. Okay. Ooh. So it's going to be more fights, otherwise, it wouldn't be giving me these items, right? So was she meant to be just born? Is she a robot? Or like, was she kidnapped and brought here? And it's going through all the training now to be a slave. Don't know. Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing it intentionally. Did you think I'll ask her? I just go, I'm very happy to call you one of the mutant apes. Okay. Ah, <laughs> well, I'll wait for nothing. Ah, oh, hello. I was just about to try and heal as well. Don't give me that luck, I'm Raiden. I'm part of the Mutant Apes, just like you. I'm Uka. Nice to meet you. Uka? Not so fast. First of all, I want to see how good you are. Okay. I really wish I did heal. Ah, oh, it's just... It's not even uh, the other guy with us. I thought it would be. Okay, that's fine. I think what I'll do is stick with physical attacks and uh, healing. Oh, shit. Two criticals. We all seem to have that ability, don't we? And the armor bomb. I'm gonna heal up now. Gives you plenty of healing items. Like loads of them. So much to talk about because they're all very samey. Like this fight than the last fight we had. This one, I don't know, he looks like more of a physical fighter, but at the end of the day, he's doing about the same damage, so it's no different, really. Ooh, he's on red. As long as we don't miss this attack or the next one. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I held my breath a bit. <laughs> and another physical defense down. Four. You're not bad. Glad to have somebody like you on the team. Thanks. Now for your final trial, mutant apes. 
I want the three of you to work together to defeat the enemy. Yes, sir. Okay, that's fine. Let's heal up first, though. I'll do. I might regret now healing fully, but... I don't just waste items just because I got loads of them. Master is watching. Don't screw up. Of course I won't. Here we go. Yeah, what was it? Proper boss time. I'd consider the other two like mini bosses. Ooh, armored fighter. So anti armor bomb would be great, right? It's gotta be intentional. Ninety damage. Okay, let's just try a regular attack and see if that does. About the same. More. What's the point in anti armor bomb then? Wow. Just wow. <laughs> Tree 96. Nice. <laughs> and try his physical attack instead of the anti armor bomb this time. Yeah, that's even better, so it's pointless to even use that ability. Use a 10 of MP too. Or was it 50? Whoa, no. It was 50. Okay, this time I'm going to heal up just in case. Okay. Mountain apes, uka, ukuk. <laughs> okay, so let's keep at it. It's not much of a ball, so he's easy enough. Whoa, I like gaming speedy. Ah, shit. That's fine, I'd say one, maybe two more attacks and he's down anyway. Done, yeah. I hope these three characters become really important now then. They're being introduced really well, so... You three have done well. Yes, yes Master. Master! Oka, how do you feel? Is anything hurting you? I have a slight headache. That's not uncommon. It will go away soon. You're not yet finished. But you can still work with the other two. Do your best. Soon you'll have your full powers. Yes, Master. What's going on? We're locked up for three days and then suddenly they let us out? They didn't even investigate us. I guess they don't care anymore. That was pretty cold-hearted of Corando to take off on his own like that. Corando is not that kind of person! Huh? What's that? What'd you say? Oh, I get it. I get it. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> You're turning all red. I'll kill you! Cut it out, you two! Look over there. Oh, it's him. There you are. It took a while to get you out. I'm sorry about that. You're the one who got us out? Yes. I vouched for you all. It's my way of saying thank you for saving my daughter. Well, actually we... Yes, I know. Your Anastasia here was carrying papers that list her as a goodwill ambassador from Russia. 
since I saw that, I have been wondering why you came to Japan. Goodwill Ambassador? You had papers saying that? My father gave me them, in case I ever traveled overseas. Now that's an emperor! Yeah, a real Superman. He's better than Superman. Shall we go, Yuri, Anne? And you are... Anne? That's your new name, Karen. I didn't want them to know that you're German. Anne? That was my mom's name. Anne? That's not your name? Uh, no. It's Karen. Hmm. Well, either way. Come on. Come on! Let's go. Yeah, come on, Anne. Now we've got a new name, spontaneously. <laughs> so we're going back to Yokohama streets, right? But that'll be next time. This has been GunyXI. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we head back to the streets. And, I don't know, see where the game takes us next. In a bit, folks.